Hey guys, welcome to Lauterbrunnen. We have been around this region quite a lot, but we are going to do a video of what you can do around Lauterbrunnen and we, we can't wait to show you around this beautiful region. So we've already shown you some videos on Interlaken, Muren, Grindelwald, but today we're going to use Lauterbrunnen as a base. Lauterbrunnen is the valley of the waterfall 72, it's beautiful, you can see one in the back. We're going to travel around with the Berner Oberland Regional Pass and let's get started. So we're walking right now and I had to stop to film the sign because I love it. This is a really good visual picture of everything there is to do in this region, but first things first, Lauterbrunnen is so beautiful, so we're going to discover that. Just on the main street, we are at the Lutschinen Promenade, and there's actually a very nice uh, view on the waterfalls, etc. So, we're gonna go down and see some nice pictures. You yeah. can see, you could see that sign also says Trimmelbachfelle. We're not going this trip, but I'm still going to show you guys footage because it's a great thing to put in an itinerary. So I'm going to put the Trimmelbachfella footage after we show you this next viewpoint. But We're going to still cross it, I think, and, yeah. uh, and see it. Yeah. So this is the viewpoint yes. that you'll see, yeah, all over yeah, Instagram. You have the waterfalls, you have the whole yeah. valley. It's very beautiful in the summer, but in the winter too, because you have the snow. But You'll see a crowd of people and you might be wondering what are they doing and they are just trying to get that shot <laughs> <laughs> halfway to two thirds of the way and you have all the different waterfalls inside taking the train from Lauterbrunnen to Wildersville, it's like 10-15 uh, minutes and now we are going to take the Schinige Platte train, that cute little old train uh, all the way up to 1900 meters and over there we'll have a view on the Lake Thun, maybe Brienz and also a very nice alpine garden so let's go! Hello! Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know my person back, we are right good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so many, so I can't find myself. Hey. That was nice, that was a nice ride. So, right after the train station, you see that sign, and you can follow to Berg Hotel Schönige Plätze and there's a restaurant with a view terrace so we're gonna head up there so we're going to have lunch here and we're going to maybe or probably enjoy some Alphorn always nice it's the it's called the top of Swiss tradition here <laughs> Okay, so food's here, and it's very traditional. So I got alpine macaroni, which is kind of like alpine macaroni with lots of fatty stuff. And then we got rosti. Film this so I can start. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cute. Yeah. 
So while we're eating, Louie and I are actually planning what we're gonna do. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So we're gonna take it a little light because we have this stroller, but so far so good. Everything has been a stroller accessible that we've been doing. If you go up to the restaurant, which is where we are right now, I showed you guys how to get there. There's all kinds of beautiful viewpoints that you can do really easily with a stroller or with kids, so no problem there. If you are a hiker and looking for something a little bit more you know, adventurous or a little bit more physical. There's a two and a half hour hike that gets to a beautiful ridge. There's a lot of stuff to see here too. There's a lot of wildflower gardens and there's a panoramic wildflower flowers. So lots of different things to do for the whole family. And so there's the Alpine garden. Alex says there was the straw. I'm gonna catch the train, but I'm gonna just show you guys. And you have quite a few. It's actually nice. You have lots of flowers, but uh, it's very kids friendly. I think I spot one here. You might be lucky enough to spot some Edelweiss that you see here. <laughs> A fake one with the, the key train. Oh, look at this. Wow, nice actually this. Yes, it is. So we're gonna head back to our hotel. We just got back from Schnigelplatte and we're gonna freshen up now, change the baby, feed the baby, and then we're gonna take a quick shelf gondola up to Murin. And again, this is 100% included with the Werner Oberland Regional Pass, which we recommend you get, so stay tuned. All right, we're going to go from Lata Winnen to Grutschalp and uh, with the gondola that is arriving. So we have arrived in Muren and so this is a car free village, a bit like Zermatt. It's beautiful and it's very nice. It has amazing views on the Eiger. You can go from Lauterbrunnen either to Grutschalp and then take the train. That's what we did. And then we're going to go down the other way with the Schiltronbahn and it's also from Muren to Stachelberg included in the Bernauerland Regional Pass. Love that. Yeah. So we're gonna see a little bit the village, the views and uh, get the gondola back down after. So this is the main street. There is the restaurant Stega Stubli that is very cute that we recommended in our Muren video. And there is the village. But so yeah, we had a Nice little walk, it was like 10-15 minutes and now we are ready to go back to Stachelberg and then walk to Lauterbrunnen. So we are going down to Gimmelwald and then Stachelberg. This is included in the Berlin uh, Regional Pass and let's go. So we have taken that gondola and then with that amazing view actually of the Lauterbrunnen Valley went up to Grim, uh, to Muren. Look at these waterfalls. And now we're going to walk back to Lauterbrunnen. So if you don't like hiking, but you're in Switzerland and you still want to experience nature, a good tip is to take the Schiltornbahn down to Stachelberg and then you can walk to Lauterbrunnen. And it's a path like this and it takes about an hour and you can experience the beautiful, beautiful valley, which you can see all around me. Louis taking a break to feed our daughter but the view is absolutely beautiful and it's a walk. So it's super, super easy. This valley actually inspired Tolkien when he was writing Lord of the Ring and inspired Rivendell, which is the land of the elves. So you can see there's so many beautiful waterfalls in this valley and it's just a really, really great way to explore without having to hike. So it's all lit up and you can actually go close to the waterfall so we're going to see what it looks like at night from up close so you have a tiny hike and we'll see where it goes let's go up and at the end you can still actually see the waterfall and it's nice actually 
and of course the view of that beautiful Lato Union Valley. So yeah, it took me like 10 minutes to go up quickly. So something worth doing if you're staying in Lato Union. So this is the first big difference of traveling with the baby that she's so exhausted. So we went to the Horner Pub, which is right by our hotel and got some takeout. We got some burgers and we're enjoying it on our balcony with a view of the Staubach, which is illuminated at night. Yeah. Very cool. Also, uh, the Horner Pub was the only one kind of open after nine. <laughs> so yeah. that was also a good option anyway. And we have a nice view, yeah. Yeah, the kitchen's actually open till midnight, so we're gonna have some burgers, some takeout, and just <laughs> hang out while the baby sleeps. Oh yeah. So good morning. This is day two of our Lauterbrunnen stay. I am going to go to Wengen and the Menlichen this morning. You'll see, and then we're going to go take a boat on the Lake Brienz. But uh, let's have our breakfast and then let's go. Oh, it's quite a nice day today, and uh, so you can see the nice waterfall there. I'm going to take the train from Lauterbrunnen to Wengen. It comes every 30 minutes, every 30 and zero, and o'clock, and then take the gondola from the Wengen to Menischen. All right, so on platform two, there is the Wengen Alpenbahn, and we're going to go to Wengen. After quite a nice panoramic ride to Wengen, I am going to walk a little bit in Wengen, enjoy the views, and take the menu. I'm going to do my little Wengen pilgrimage. <laughs> Every time I come, I go to the church and I also go see the view from the church, which is breathtaking on the valley of Lauterbrunnen. So I encourage you, it's 10 minutes, I think, to really go and see the view. If you don't go into the church, at least you go see the view. And this is the very cute main street of Wengen with the Menlichen Bahn there that goes up over there. And the train station is at the end of the street. So I'm going to be taking that ride for the Menlichen. They have up there a little crown also at the very top to hide for 15, 20 minutes. And then you get to the crown. Looking for someone not afraid of Here you have the gondola there, that is the Menlichen gondola that goes to Grindelwald. So if you want to go just uh, to Grindelwald, you go this way. And this is a great way with the regional pass to get to Grindelwald. And otherwise, to the left, when you arrive here, you're going to have a little hike. Uh, they say 20 minutes, I think it's not even 20 minutes. And here you go to get to that point over there. So this is our hike. There's silence. There's the cowbells, if you can hear them. And this is the, oh, they call it the walk, which fair enough, I think. <laughs> and you have a crown there from where you'll see everything in the region. So guys, from the Menlichen, not to confuse, and I get confused sometimes, sorry. The Jungfrau is the one to the right. This beautiful lady there, 4,158 meters. And then the Eiger and the Monch are here and here, the Monch to the right and then the Eiger. Beautiful view on the Eiger from Grindelwald and Miron. All right, that was quite a beautiful view. I really recommend it. Even if you're not in Lauterbrunnen, if you are in Grindelwald, you can do the reverse, but this is just such a beautiful site. It's also cheaper. It's included in the regional pass and it's just amazing. So from the Menlichen to Wengen, it leaves every 20 minutes, every 50, 10, and 30. It's magical when you are close, so come close up, babe. What do you got, cause I am gold, I'm golden. It's you from the car. I think this may be the first or second time you've ever seen us in a car in any of these videos, but we're driving a little bit more now because 
we have this car seat with us. So we are headed to Iselval, which is a very, very beautiful village to take a beautiful scenic boat. And that boat will be included on the Brunner Oberlohn Pass that we've been using for this weekend that we mentioned a few times in the video. If you want to get to Iselval by public transportation from Lauterbrunnen, that's really easy too. You just go to the train station at the foot of Lauterbrunnen and you head to Interlaken Ost. And then you cross that station and then from there you get on the boat. It comes every day at 11.07. So that's the one that we're gonna go get. So we're headed to Iselwald now. So I will jump back on here when we are there and show you what the boat looks like. Look at that view. And this is our old boat. We'll see. Taken old boats on the Lake Geneva was the CGN, but never in Rienz. So that's Okay, so the boat is here. We're gonna get on. You can get on Iselwald or Interlaken. So we're gonna get on now and show you what it looks like once we're on. Let's go. We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go with you That is it for us guys in the Lauter Brunnen region. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support us, please consider subscribing to the channel or you can buy us a virtual coffee. Either way, we'll see you in the next hey one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.